Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot. Back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Well, whenever you guys happen to watch this Times Love reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then there may be messages in the reading for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. Speaking of support, I have a project, my book out, Life is Not a Dress Rehearsal, My Journey in the Classroom as an Empath and a Teacher is available in paperback and ebook formats, available wherever books are sold. And I have a link listed below in the description box if you guys will consider purchasing it for yourself or someone else. The support is much appreciated, okay? So let's get into the reading, all right? All right. So as a slip the duck, you have the Three of Wands and the Empress, okay? All right, so Divine Holy Spirit, what romantic love messages do you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the Placements? Romantic love messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the Placements. As always, guys, take only what resonates with you. Leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. But if it does apply, consider liking the video, sharing the video. And, yeah, subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a member of the tribe, okay? All right. Let's see here. Let's see what else we have. We have the King of Swords. We have the Daughter of Knives. That's the Page of Swords. We have the Two of Cups. Hmm. We have the Ten of Swords. Ooh. The Five of Cups. Ten of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Hermit, and the Page of Pentacles. Overall energy, Justice, Libra energy. Um, Y'all were dealing with someone in the past. It could be here in this lifetime, 3D, or in the previous lifetime. But I keep feeling like it was this lifetime, but you had a past life connection with someone. And unfortunately i feel like this person that you were dealing with was very cold and calculating it's like you didn't understand that you were being drawn to them for a specific reason whatever it is whatever lessons you're here to learn on earth you learn them in a variety of different ways but i feel like a lot of y'all ancestors were calling to y'all when i look at this daughter of knives here uh to see this person for who they really were to use your own discernment but i feel like a lot of y'all were very deeply emotionally involved with this particular person in the past and yes you were probably drawn to them because they were a soulmate but they weren't the one that you were looking for okay you have different types of soulmates okay whoever this person was y'all had unfinished business in a previous lifetime and you finally wrapped it up right here recently for some of y'all um with the ten of swords here um this is a cycle of hurt a cycle of trauma a cycle of just letting go of what happened in the past in this lifetime and previous lifetimes now you're moving forward i feel like some of y'all thought this was the only person that you were meant to be with and that's not true the five of cups focuses on the three of cups uh, that have been spilled, but also the two cups that you refuse to look at. Someone is coming around the corner. As I split the deck, we had the Empress and the Three of Wands. That's ships coming in. Knowing your value, knowing your worth, whether you be divine masculine, divine feminine, whatever the case may be, you're letting go of the past. Maybe a connection that wasn't what you needed it to be. A person who wasn't what they were presenting themselves as to you okay with the five of cups it led to a lot of disappointment and grief you're moving out of it i know for some of y'all it does not seem like it some for some of y'all the energy seems like it's moving slow but one's energy is not that slow okay with the ten of wands here it's like you're finally closing out that cycle with that person whether you might have broken up with them years ago or had a back and forth type of situation for some of y'all it might have been harder because you had connections to them like maybe you were married to them maybe you share a child or children with them it's different for everybody for some of y'all y'all shared a pet with this person whatever the case may be it's like you're sticking to the task at hand and you're letting go of the trauma. You're letting go of the burden and you're just letting 
and that relationship be a learning and a valuable lesson to you, Aries placements. And it's showing you're moving forward. It's like you don't know what life has for you, what love has for you, but you know you're moving forward. You're staying steadfast and using the wisdom that you learn. You're looking into people more deeply than what you've done in the past, especially with this past soulmate. And you're trying to move forward. As you are moving forward, like I said, Someone is going to come into your life, okay? They're going to give you an offer. It's up to you if you're going to take it. But I feel like this is some good karma. This is letting you know something has been cleared within your path, especially in love, but on your path in general. And you can move forward. Yeah, your ancestors are letting you know this new person you're coming into contact with, they're the one, okay? I'm just saying. So let's see. That was quick. <laughs> let's... uh get some extra messages for the Aries placements, Divine Holy Spirit. I just heard I'm the one by well, DJ Khaled and that's, is that Bieber on the track? I'm just saying. I'm the one. I keep hearing that song so it's like, eh, okay then. Show and prove that you're the one to this person for Aries placements, okay? And then, y'all seen that, right? Okay, let's see. Let me shuffle again because child, these are new cards, so Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? Okay, let's see here. You can't make this stuff. This someone new, Mirrored Souls. This card signifies that you have met your spiritual other half or will be soon. This is also confirmation of balanced masculine and feminine energy within oneself. That's the justice card. Look. Okay. Any other messages for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. We have some of y'all. This, this might start off like that. I'm not going to lie. That's up to you if you want that. Someone may be interested in an intimate connection with no strings attached. Be prepared for all that may be in store. Maybe that's what happened with you and that person. Baby, that, that comes with a whole lot of, uh, a whole other set of issues because let's just be honest. Grown person to grown person. When you're doing that with someone, there's no possible way, in my opinion, you know what they say about opinions, don't you? <laughs> Everyone's got one. Okay, but in my opinion, you're being that close with someone, you can't help but to form an emotional bond with them, even though you might try to keep it, like, cute or whatever. Dude, okay? Dude, that's all I'm going to say, okay? It, it's not, it can't end well because somebody's always going to get attached. Even the person who is acting like they're not attached, <laughs> or not falling they, they are I'm just saying that might have been that ten of swords it's like you might have been dealing with them and found out they were diddling like I said before with someone else but you couldn't say nothing to them because you agreed to that type of friends with benefits type of deal well that sucks and for those of you who aren't in that type of situation and you really we're dealing with someone where it's supposed to be just you and them, monogamous or whatever y'all consider a relationship for y'all. And they did not, they weren't upfront and honest with you. Damn. Okay. Got a whole lot. Y'all need your boundaries. I'm going to put those back in though. An additional message. It's like, for some of y'all, somebody might be approaching you about friends with benefits. Because I'm seriously looking at that Knight of Wands and that talks about that, y'all. But I keep feeling that energy. But I feel like some of y'all, y'all were dealing with that person. And to be honest, that it didn't, it didn't work out the way you thought it should or what you were hoping for. Somebody, that came out again, gifts and offerings. But we're going to take no, an apology. Hmm. Freudian slip. Apologizing might be a crucial step in preserving the, this relationship. It can also provide an, an opportunity to address certain behaviors or concerns. Now, if that resonates with you and you are in a toxic union, <laughs> that's a small amount, uh, then go for it. But if not, even if somebody from your past that I keep feeling is coming back trying to apologize for all the 
the ways that they did you dirty, you can accept their apology, but apologizing and accepting an apology doesn't mean you want to reconnect with that person. That's up to you, okay? I'm just saying. Anything else, spirit? But like I said, justice is going to be serving whatever. Yeah, that person had toxic behaviors, okay? But I feel like justice is going to be served any which way the wind blows because you might, like I said, you might have been dealing with someone who wanted friends with benefits. You got attached and it was a rough ending. Ten of swords, ten of wands. Some of y'all were in an actual relationship and this person betrayed you because I keep feeling that with the ten of swords and the five of cups. Either way, you're going to get what's due to you, whether it's an actual apology from that person or some karma that has been clear for you so you can start anew with someone else, okay? But just take that how it resonates for you, Aries placements, okay? So that is all I have for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed your reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.